Okay, we're going to do a quick demo of the digital clock I built in the last three episodes. The number on this clock is called SH-E879. In the last video, I couldn't figure out why I had a timer rather than a clock. Well, it turns out I was not using the function button correctly. Let's turn this on. So you can see it's counting. And basically this is the clock. But because it had no battery, there was no time set, it started off at 12 midnight and started counting. This button is meant to turn these LEDs numbers off and back on without these running you're supposed to save electricity now I'm not sure exactly why these four lights are on that might be a mistake somewhere in my soldering but when you turn it back on it keeps counting now you can I brought found a 3 volt battery for here I'll show you how that works in a minute so if I turn off the power, the time stops. When I turn the power back on, it starts over again. But if I put the 3 volt battery in, this will provide power to the chip holding the time. So when I turn the power off and back on, it's still got my count my time now you can set the time on here uh, right now it's about 402 so if I hold this then the center number blinks that's the minutes and then you just hit the button so right now let's say it's 404 I'm gonna set my minutes and then you hold it again and when you let go then the hours blink and because it's 4 in the afternoon, I have to go past 12. Oh, I turned it off. Let's hold it again. It's very sensitive, so if I... push the button too fast, it will set the time. So now I've got to go to... Interesting. I'm wondering if I'm completing some kind of circuit back here with this thing. So we're going to try this again. Boop. Try to get the 12. Now that's 4 o'clock. So it'll be 4.06. I hold it. And now the time's set again. So it's 16.06. And that's how you set the time. And then you can turn this off. To save your power, I can turn it completely off, and when I turn it back on, it's kept my time because of the battery. I hope you liked the build of this clock. If you have any tweaks or can teach me a little bit more about what I did right or what I did wrong, feel free to comment, let me know, and We'll have another video addressing any issues that might come up. Maybe you know how to set these LEDs as off when the rest of the numbers are off, thus saving all the power. Maybe you have a suggestion how to use this circuit to do something else besides keep the time. Anyway, you guys have a great day and we'll see you next time.